So in this video, we're going to explore how we can use Sublime Text version 4. We're going to look at the shortcuts, the tips and tricks specifically for the Mac. So one of the things that we can do is we can, for example, copy and paste, which is basically very simple. It's Command C to copy. And if we enter here, Command V. Next, what we can do here, and these are really the basics. You're going to cut out this, say Command X. And now we come to something a bit more exciting. So for example, I want to grab here or put in the basic HTML template. What we can do here is just type in HTML, press tab and bam, there you are. And you can see here, it goes to the title immediately. So you can just even paste the title and we have like this structure. Another very useful item is, for example, if you have, let's say, in this case, we're going to put a tab here, and we want to have a div, and this div would have, for example, the menu bar class. Let's say a div, what we can do here is dot menu bar, and this is basically defining the class. So the moment we type in tab, it gives us a suggestion, and there we are, you can see this is what it understands. So when you click on that, it shows us instantly the item. This can also be done with an ID. So for example, we can say here, uh, div hashtag, and then we give the ID name, the menu item, for example. Then tap, it gives us a suggestion, there we are. What we can do more is very straightforward. For example, an enter, it's just like an enter here, just press the return button. You also have the command return, which will give us the same result. But for example, if you want to go up here, what we can do here is just put in command, arrow key up, and then enter, there we are. Another useful option is, for example, in this case, look at this line here. We want to move this up. You might say, well, command X to cut it and then paste that in there. But of course, there's an easier way. Just holding control command and an arrow key and you can see here what's going up and down so basically you could select this and you could see this moving it all the way to the top or going back to the bottom here and you can use just the arrow keys to move it up and down what we can do as well is instead of for example selecting this one or maybe you want to select multiples which we can move up and down we can also do this by selecting or using a short key to select that so all you have to do is type in command L and then you will have the first selection again, command L, command L, and then there we are. And then of course we could just move this up or down again with the basic control command, arrow up key or arrow down key. Another very useful feature is the command D. So basically the command D, what it does is it will select the word. So if I type in your command D, it grabs this. This doesn't look very fancy until you copy this. Let's copy this and duplicate this because we're able to get multiple items. So for example, I want to change the class name for menu bar. What I can do here, command D, it grabs here and it grabs every other item here. And then we could change this new class name. And there we are, it saves a lot of time. Another very useful item is, for example, if you have multiples like these, so let's duplicate this again, put it in there. And let's grab this one again. And we're going to say here, command D, but you see here multiples, what we can do is to get them all at once. We say here control command G and we grab all of them and then we can change all items. There we are. So sometimes you might want to have, for example, multiple cursors here. So how can we control that? So what you can do here is just control shift key up. And as you can see here, now we get multiple cursors here up or control shift key down and then you can see here now we're going down and getting all of these items here so so this helps us to get multiple cursors another useful item is for example if you have javascript file and you want to go or jump to the next parentheses or within that same area in that case what we can do here is let's make a script tag so we type in script and then you here tap and then enter and then here what we could do here just quick function we say here parentheses and I say here curly braces and we could do here even if and I'll just do it like this. So if I say here now control M, it jumps up here and if I do it again, it jumps back to the ending. So it goes to up or down based on the starting and ending point. Same with the parentheses, exactly the same. So control M, there we are and control M again 
goes down. Another item that's quite useful is besides only the control M, maybe you want to select everything within here for that. Well, let me show you. Let's put in here text or test, test and test. And I want to select everything here. So we're going to say control shift M and there we are. We select everything within the parentheses or if we start from here, control shift M and we select everything within the curly braces. Another very useful item is how we go from here all the way back here instantly or to the very end of the line. So to go to the very beginning of the line, all we need to do is here is type in control A, there we are. And if we want to go to the very end, control E, and there we are. What we also can do is, for example, if we are here, maybe we don't want to go all the way to the back here. But we just want to be just here at the beginning of the line or beginning of that specific tag. So what we can do here is just put in command, then arrow to the left, there we are. And if you do command, arrow right, we go to the other side, but this is very identical with uh, control E. So if you do control A and control E, and basically control E and command to the right side, it will give you the same response and going to the very end of this, as you will see here, if you do this, command, there we are. And if you do here, Control E, you go again to the very end. Another item is deleting anything, for example, where we have our cursor, deleting everything from the cursor point all the way to the end. To do this, we're going to hold press command. So we keep that hold press and then we press double K, 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 there we are. And the reason why you need to put double is because they have a very ingenious system is if you want to delete everything from the beginning or from the cursor point to the beginning, what we have to do is we have to hold command K and delete. Oh, as you can see here, I'm going too slow. That's why it works. That's why I did it weird. But if I do command K delete, there we are. Another shortcut is for indentation. And this is a very common one that is can be very useful. For example, we have these items here and you want to indent this. What we can do here, you can type in top tab, of course, that's no problem. But if you would say here command and then bracket, uh, back closing bracket, it will indent more. And if you keep on doing this, it will increase that. Or if you want to go back, we say here command and then here opening bracket. And then we can just go like that. And this will save us eventually a lot of time if we can, for example, we have all of these items here that we want to reduce in brackets. What we can do here is command L, select all these items here, and then here, uh, command opening brackets. And there we are. It indents every single item. What we can do as well is duplicate, for example, certain lines of code. We can just copy and paste them. Or let's use our shortcuts. We have here command L, L. So we can have that one. And then what we want to do is we want to duplicate this selected item. I'm going to say here, Command, Shift, D for Delta. And there we are. And if we do this again, there we are. We grab them all and paste again in here. Sometimes you have these lines and you want them, for example, to have them side by side for like this. You have a space between here. So this takes time to do it manually. But what you can do here is just type in here, Command, Shift, J. And as you keep on pressing, Command Shift J, you can see it automatically adds every single line nicely, align them side by side. Another item is, for example, you want to put a comment here. So how do we put a comment? Well, for example, this line we want to comment out. What we can do here, Command Slash, there you are. And if you do it again, it will be back just showing it. Or if you want to have like multiple items, just select it. What you can do here just for the quick selection is Command L. That's multiple times. I just say here, command slash, and there you are. It will comment out this entire section here. Besides adding comments on the entire line, what we could do as well is, for example, add a comment here at the very back. What you can do here is press option, command slash, and then you can see here, this is a comment. And then of course, what we could do here, option, command slash, and then you remove this item as well. There we are. Another option is the command Y, which basically redoes or does again the command you did previously. Those commands must have a significant change on the item itself here. So for example, if you do backspace, backspace, and then you would say your command Y, you can keep on going. 
let's undo this and the same as well with comments so if you do comments and you go here up and you do not command y it will grab or put a comment in there or put the, it back into its original state another useful item is for example if we have like this let's give this an indentation with our shortcut command and then closing bracket and what we want to do is we want to copy this so i'm going to copy this with command c and then what i'm going to do is we're going to paste this here down so i'm going to say here command shift v and what will happen it will align the indentation for the first one properly while this one here of course needs to be relocated or reset so how do we do that well basically what we can do is just here above then of course you know command l to select these items and then we're going to have an indentation back again and that is command and i'm opening bracket there we are what we can do as well is for example if we have here and we want to put in a tag we can get a suggestion from sublime so what we can do here is control shift w and you can see here it gives you a suggestion of course this is not necessary to follow you can also say p and then tap it will give you a suggestion as well and finally what you could do as well if you don't like that you can say your control spacebar and then you can get here any suggestion that we might need you select this one the div enter and it shows here now the div tag and another one is for example here we're not satisfied with these items here what we can do here is control shift k and we delete one of these lines there we are or what we can do of course is select multiple lines command l l l and then we can say here control shift k and delete the entire batch and there we are with that do we clean up our full our file so we've covered already a lot of features that we can do with sublime text but of course there is a part two that covers other items as well so once that video is done i will make sure that there's a link here and you can click on it you'll be directly referred to part two